what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can resolve an issue where you've got internet connectivity but you can't browse the internet and we're going to take a look at some of the things you can try to rectify this problem this video has been brought to you by zero and nine use the discount code to get your cheap copy of windows 10 pro you can use the promotion code brian w for windows 10 professional oem key and get a discount and get that for 12 dollars 79 if you're interested in microsoft office 2016 professional plus retail key you can use the promotion code brian m and you can get a reduced uh, price on that as well by using that coupon code links in the video description now the first thing you want to do is uh, use the network troubleshooter and uh, you can do that because it's built into windows so come down to the search box and just type trouble in there and you should see uh, troubleshoot there open this up and then what you want to do is come down uh, onto the troubleshoot section and you'll see internet connections when you click on this it will let you run the troubleshooter and let you give you uh, a good diagnosis of your uh, network settings and stuff like that and it will try to detect a problem and try to fix it for you okay and next up what we're going to do here is open up your browser now if you've got more than one browser on there try different browsers because sometimes uh, you can have an issue uh, with your browser so we're going to open up say google chrome here and you can reset this browser if this is your main browser just go to the three dots up the top right hand side go to settings here and then come down to the bottom here go to advanced and come all the way down keep coming down and you should see restore settings to their original defaults click on this and then you can reset uh, this now you will uh, reset the browser right back and it will remove all your saved passwords and all your bookmarks and history and stuff like that and all your extensions and everything else so just bear in mind that if you haven't got a copy of your passwords just to be careful here but this will reset everything back okay to default now sometimes it's a plugin or or an extension or something like that that's causing a problem and by doing that it just eradicates any sort of uh, problems that could be there and tries to fix them next up what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our start button then click on the settings uh, tab here and go into your network here network and internet come into here inside here you should see a, a status uh, area here and this will tell you what you're connected to public or, or private up here and uh, once you're inside here as well you can see the network troubleshooter here as well if you wanted to get to it this way you can do but also you'll see down the bottom here that network reset just hit this and uh, it will reset all your network and stuff like that so you just want to do this just in case there's an issue there and it will try to reset everything so just click re uh, reset now say yes okay so it's saying to us now that you're about to be signed out windows will shut down in five minutes so you can uh, shut that down you can wait here and it will do it for you I'm just going to restart just let that boot up and just let that log back in uh, to your computer and then you should see here uh, do you want to allow your PC uh, to connect and discover so I'm going to say yes here because that's just been reset that's what's happened there and sometimes that does uh, resolve a lot of issues now once you've done that what we're going to do next is uh, look at the settings for our network card so we're going to go into here is push the start button here and we're going to go into the settings pane and then go into our network and internet here and you can see here we do have uh, change uh, connection properties here and you can see you do have your network profile where you can change this and you can also configure your firewall settings and stuff like that we're going to leave that for this uh, video but we're just going to go 
uh, back here and come down uh, to where it says change adapter options inside here we're going to double click on this and this will open up this box here you should see your send and receive here if you see this uh, sending data through here you, you'll know you are connected and you're getting uh, connectivity here so what we're going to do here is go into the properties and we're going to go to internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4 and uh, click on properties here and open this up what you want to make sure is obtain an IP address automatically just make sure you're doing that and now if your DNS is set to automatically uh, DNS you can always try another DNS because sometimes having a, uh, a DNS issue with your ISP can cause you to not being able to connect to the internet so you can try Google's one temporarily and uh, just put in four eights and also you can do two eights here and uh, two fours oh not that way that one and there we go click OK and click close close and you can always uh, reboot your computer and try that to see whether you get internet connectivity and whether you can uh, surf the internet if you still have any issues we're going to move on to the next step where we can open up uh, our command prompt so let's go down to the search option here type CMD and right click and run this as administrator click yes and what we're going to do here is to try out uh, some commands here and see whether this resolves the issue. So we can go to IP config space forward slash release and type this one in here. Next up, we're going to do IP config space forward slash renew, just like so, and let that renew. And there we go so what you can do here now is uh, do IP config uh, space forward slash flush DNS just like so and you can create a batch file for, to do this for you it's very simple and easy to do so just let that run and there we go that's now cleared uh, that for us now another thing you can do is type out this command here. So we're going to do net sh and we're going to do space int and then space ip and this is a reset here. And what we want to do is get a log file here. So if you type out this area here this will give us a log file and this is great because it gives you some information so just type that command out there and you can see here it's going to give us a reset a log next up we want to type in here netsh space windsock space reset and what that's going to do is going to reset our windsock on uh, this computer so we're just going to quickly do this now sometimes this helps now what we want to do after this one we can do MBT STAT, which is uh, MBT stat space dash R. And that will give us some uh, information about uh, pre preload and also purging the MBT remote cache. So we'll just let that happen. Now we need to do MBT stat space dash RR. And uh, once we've done that, we can push enter. And as you can see here, it's just going to give us the NetBIOS names registered by this computer have been refreshed. Okay, that's the command prompt part over with. So we can uh, now close off uh, the command prompt. So I'm just going to quickly close it off. And then uh, we can uh, try some other stuff here. So hold the shift key down and uh, we want to restart the computer. And we want to go into choose an option. Go troubleshoot here. Then advanced options inside here we're going to go into startup settings and then click on restart we want to go into the 
uh, safe mode here and then what this is going to do is allow us to enter uh, safe mode with networking and we can test the internet from there to see where it's working now also a good thing is it means the antivirus program and firewall will be disabled in this environment which is good because obviously sometimes that can uh, cause an issue and this will just tell us that the internet is working fine or it's not working fine and you can continue uh, troubleshooting but you can see here we are in safe mode you will get a black screen a little tiny screen here and if we open up task manager you can see the antivirus program is not running and that's important because firewalls do block uh, internet uh, access sometimes by mistake because people block them now another thing you can do is try and boot up to uh, an ubuntu uh, cd or a usb flash drive and click on try ubuntu you're not installing it you're just booting up into a live environment and uh, we can now test the internet from here and what this is going to do is tell us whether our network card is working okay whether it be wi-fi or whether it be a network card and whether we're having any issues with uh, hardware and if this obviously works then it's a, a software issue on windows so we can then close that down so that's all we wanted to do here is just quickly test uh, the browser there okay so let's move on to another thing that we can try here what we're going to do is open up the uh, device manager and we're going to go to uh, the network adapters area and look for your network adapter and we're going to click on this you can either right click and go properties here and uh, once we're inside here we can see whether the device is working properly now obviously you can change the drivers if you want to but if it's working then that driver is okay but you can also update the driver if you want to but I'm just going to uninstall this driver and reboot the computer and normally it will find the driver and reinstall it and that sometimes fixes a lot of problems especially with uh, network driver issues now next up here we're going to take a look at the router itself now most routers will have some LED lights on here Wi-Fi LED base LED phone LED and also internet LED sometimes these are go red if there's errors on them check your router to make sure everything is functioning okay and uh, if you can access a browser also check the status inside your router or if you are now on the internet you can check the uh, status of your network in your area and it will look something like this and say there is a fault or disruption in your area and you can then contact your uh, ISP or service provider and get something resolved on that issue now if you're still having issues after all this then there's something more sinister going on either a hardware issue or you've got some sort of major problem with your operating system just make sure everything is okay and malware is all removed and you can also try system restore and reset this pc to resolve the issue anyway i think that's going to be about it i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.